What is up, my buttery biscuits? Y'all, I am so sorry that you guys are seeing the repeated, like, same shirt, same makeup this month. It's because I'm pre-filming videos and I just really wanted to get everything done. And honestly, y'all, like, back in the day, I feel like I would just change my shirt and stuff. However, I'm just way too lazy. I said that in a previous video. I'm literally repeating myself now. But I'm just telling the truth, y'all. Like, I know I could change up my makeup. I know that I can change my shirt. But I'm just too lazy to do that. So you guys can see the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, within today's video, it is my um, new makeup drops. Are they bops or flops, y'all? Why am I doing that like Trixie Mattel? I'm like, what? Y'all, I'm gonna snap the neck that I don't have. Anyways, if you guys are new to this style of video, I'm just literally talking about new makeup drops and what my opinions about them are. As you guys know, I do do an anti- I do do. I do do an anti-haul every single month. And that's just talking about what I will not buy. However, within the new makeup drops, are they bops or flops? It's kind of like just makeup talk of some things that I make may actually want to pick up and some things that I would pick up if I could change it a little bit or if I could change the price you know what I'm saying and then some things I just want to talk about you know what I mean so that's just what these videos are so if you guys are interested in that of course go ahead and keep on watching if y'all are new here make sure you guys hit the subscribe button turn on your post notifications so that we'll get notified when I upload a new video and make sure I'll give this video a big thumbs up I would really appreciate that and let's go ahead and get into it to start this off y'all I am trying so hard to not start it off with all right y'all I literally notice every single like jump clip that I do all right y'all all right, y'all. I'm like, oh my gosh. When I edit my videos, I drive myself crazy with how much I say, all right, y'all. Like, just stop. I'm like, oh my gosh. I literally do that all the time. Literally, I do that to my friends, too. Whenever I'm talking to two of them on the on the phone, I'm like, all right, y'all. Like, Jesus, I say it too much. Anyways, like, y'all remember before people used to, like, clown me? They would put it down in the comment box. They'd be like, take a shot every time he says low-key because, oh my gosh, I said low-key so much. Now I feel like I'm stuck in all right, y'all. Like, I just feel like I'm always stuck in something. Anyways, the first thing that we're going to be talking about is this natural number two eyeshadow palette by Scott Barnes. Okay, this palette right here, low-key, I was about... <laughs> There I go saying low-key. Take a shot. No, I'm just like, um, I was going to put this on my anti-haul. Like, I'm kind of confused by it. What I mean by that is, is, is like, I don't know if I kind of like it or if I kind of hate it. I feel like I'm in between about it. Only because I don't really have any cool toned eyeshadow palettes. But this one I kind of feel like is like casket ready you know what i'm saying but then at the same time i kind of like it because i used to do my makeup very grunge and very like murky and very cool toned and very like you know what i'm saying like i said murky grungy gothy you know what i'm saying that's how i used to do it however i look at this now and i'm kind of like i don't know if i would necessarily use this that's why i'm kind of like hmm the old me really loves it and then like the new me kind of hates it because i don't use these tones anymore at all like i literally just always wear warm tones you guys know that and i feel like i look at this and i'm like I could kind of see some beauty in it, but then also at the same time, too, I'm like, this looks, like, really, really ashy. Like, honestly, y'all, they should put this on a Lucerin commercial. Is Lucerin a brand? I feel like Lucerin's a brand. Oh, my gosh. I should have said Avino. Y'all let me know if Lucerin's a brand, because I feel like I've seen a commercial for that recently. I don't know. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I feel like it kind of looks a little bit ashy, but then I could see some beauty in it. But it is really, really cool toned. Like, really cool toned. Obviously, I know that is the point. So that's why I'm kind of 50-50 about this, and I'm really curious to know what you're guys' opinions are because I do feel like cool toned palettes are just not so popular. A lot of people really like warm tones. I feel like it just makes us look a little bit more alive. However, back in the day, I wanted to look more dead. You guys should see pictures of me, y'all. When I used to go to Bar Sinister in Hollywood, oh my gosh, y'all. I look back on those pictures and I'm like, oh snap, I have changed a lot. So yeah, that's why I'm like 50-50 about this palette. I feel like it's kind of cute, but then I feel like it's kind of ugly. I don't know. It's a love-hate relationship with this palette. Next up, we have the Juvia's Place Holiday Eyeshadow Palette. This one to me right here, I probably will buy, okay? Like honestly, this to me is just so cute look at these swatches together y'all i don't know what it is about juvia's palace or juvia's place oh my gosh i said palace juvia's place but i just feel like her stuff just looks so rich you know what i'm saying like it just looks rich look at this look at these swatches the colors together they play off of each other so well they look so beautiful we got complimentary colors going on y'all know i love complimentary colors there's a mosquito on my leg right now oh my gosh why is it 80 degrees why is it 80 degrees in December? I cannot deal with Southern California. Anyways, y'all, sorry, I got off topic there. But this palette to me is just so beautiful. Honestly, like, looking at it in the palette, I will be honest, okay? Because originally I just saw the picture of the palette and I was like, eh, like, it's cute. But it's like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't like, oh my God, I'm going to buy it. However, as soon as I saw the swatches, 
as soon as I saw the swatches, it was a wrap. I was like, oh, I'm getting this for sure. Because it is just so beautiful. Like, y'all, I have so many oranges. Yes, I know. And y'all probably have just as many blue shimmers and green till shimmers too. But these just together just look so beautiful. Like, they are just stunning. What do you guys feel about this? Honestly, I really do love it. Like, after seeing the swatch, just look at the swatches, you guys. Like, honestly, just look at them. I just look at this and I'm just so inspired. I'm like, oh, I want to bust out a crazy colorful look because this is bomb. Like, oh, it's so beautiful. And here we have a Revolution Pro, which is a Marilyn Monroe collaboration. Okay. Oh my gosh. I feel like kind of like such a basic person for telling you guys this. But back in the day, and I'm talking about when I was like 19, my room was like filled with Marilyn Monroe posters. I feel like so many of us have been there and done that. You know what I'm saying? I literally had a pillow of her. I had a blanket of her. I had posters of her. I literally had this one really, really beautiful one that was like a textured painting. My room was just filled with Marilyn Monroe. But ask me if I've ever seen anything Marilyn Monroe's done. No, I haven't. I really just like her aesthetic. I never seen any like movies that she was in nothing like that you know what i'm saying so that's why i say i feel real basic but anyways let's talk about revolution pro which i'm assuming i'm just going to assume that this is related to makeup revolution right this is just like their pro line i'm assuming any which way i just want to tell you guys i hate the packaging like, I really do. I don't know if you guys know this, but while I was working at MAC, actually, um, Marilyn Monroe, up until Selena, I believe, had came out, Marilyn Monroe was the highest selling collection. Then Selena came out, and it was a wrap for Marilyn Monroe. However, it was the highest selling for a long period of time because that collection was just beautiful, stunning. The pieces look like a, like, you know, collection of, like, art. You know what I'm saying? This, I look at this, and I'm like, what is going on here? Like, the outside of that, like, with all the pearls and stuff, looks like it should be in, like an aerial collection i don't know i just don't like it the palette i'm a little bit like intrigued by i kind of like it you know and honestly the reason why I i'm saying like the inside of the palette not the actual palette because i i don't really like the actual palette you know as far as component wise but the inside i really like it because of the print you know the like texture of the shadows i feel like it's really pretty i'm really curious how this would be honestly some of the shades within this palette do look beautiful like this shade like second down to the left really looks beautiful like it looks really really beautiful like i do kind of want to swatch that so i'm kind of intrigued by this however the packaging on the outside just is really throwing me off like that like quad right there both of the quads like both of the quads i just I don't know. It looks weird to me. It looks kind of like you went to Michael's and you went down the like beads and pearls aisle and just threw everything on the floor and then glued it together. You know what I mean? I don't know. It looks messy to me and I kind of just don't like it. Like, I don't honestly, y'all like, where do you even see Marilyn with this? I guess maybe because she wears pearls, I guess. I don't know. Like, look at the Mac, you know, Marilyn Monroe collection and then look at this. I don't know. Either which way, I wanted to throw this on here because I am kind of intrigued by the palette. Like, honestly, the palette, I don't know if it's maybe just because of the, like, imprint of the shadows is beautiful, but it's kind of speaking to me in a weird way. You know what I mean? I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, this is kind of cute. The inside is kind of cute, honestly. And even on the quads, the inside of the quads, like, like I said, it could totally be the dimension of the, you know, the pressed in you know eyeshadows that like it's th like throwing me off i don't know because honestly maybe if they were just regular circle eyeshadows with no indents in them i probably would look at it and be like ew you know what i mean but being that they have that like you know dimension in them they look beautiful i don't know am i even making sense y'all do you guys understand what i'm saying as far as like the present looking like that the present <laughs> Y'all, I'm thinking of some crescent rolls. I said the crescent. <laughs> Anyways, you guys know what I mean. As far as the pressing of the eyeshadows, like, maybe it's throwing me off. Because, honestly, looking at the colors, like, they look like whatever. But then being that they're pressed like that. Okay, let me just shut up. What do you guys think about this palette? Honestly, what do you guys think about the collection as a whole? The palette kind of looks cute to me on the inside, not the outside. But yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Next up right here, we have the Rugrats Hip Dot Collection. This one to me, y'all, it took me back to when I was a kid. I honestly literally like, I have not watched Rugrats in so long. However, when I was a kid, it was literally my favorite show. Well, that and Barney, you know? Everyone used to say I look like Barney too. Y'all, they used to say I look like Ursula. They used to say I look like Barney. Just anything fat they would call me. <laughs> But anyways, this one to me, y'all, I just thought was just so cute. Like, y'all, these are face masks right there. Meant to look like Angelica and Chucky. They are just so cute. And actually, the palette itself is really cute, too. Like, looking at the color story of it, I feel like this is such a cute collection. Like... 
it is just, I don't know. I just feel like it is so cute. And I haven't seen a Rugrats collection before. And on top of that, that this is for Hanukkah, I feel like that's just so adorable. You know what I'm saying? And the colors obviously speak to Hanukkah. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think about this collection, but this one to me is like really, really cute. Like, oh my, just look at the face mask though. Honestly, y'all, I'm gonna keep it with you guys like nine times out of 10. Like I hate those face masks. I bought some from Japan, like one of like Charizard and Pikachu and I put them on my face and I was like, this feels horrible and it does nothing for my skin, but it is really cute though. You know what I'm saying? It's cute to take a selfie with, but is it really doing anything for your skin? I don't know, but this is just really cute. Y'all, this one right here, you guys are probably gonna call me a hypocrite. I think I may be changing my opinion on this because this palette right here from Too Faced, now that I'm seeing the whole collection, which was supposed to be a spring collection, and it says on Trend Mood that it's coming out sometime in December, but now that I'm seeing a different picture of this palette, why do I think this is actually probably like one of the prettiest palettes that Too Faced has come out with? Like, honestly, y'all, go back to like three months ago on my channel and I did an anti-haul and I was like, here we go again with Too Faced. Y'all know I just cannot stand Too Faced eyeshadow palettes. I feel like their eyeshadow palettes are so dull, so boring, so repetitive, just like the same colors plopped into a new scented package. You know what I'm saying? This one though, it looks kind of cute. Like it really does look kind of cute. Like these colors, yes, 100% are like spring and floral. So I am really confused because I do believe that like someone, I don't know if it was makeup craze or like trend mood, they posted that this is going to be Too Faced, like, like I was going to say fall, Too Faced, um, oh my gosh, like Easter collection. What's that time of year? Yeah, spring collection. Why did I literally just forget the name of that? This was supposed to be like their spring collection. However, Trend Mood is now saying that this is going to be coming out sometime in December. That is so weird because clearly, look at this. It speaks spring, you know? This actually has, like, the Better Than Sex mascara in it with the butterflies all over it. And then, like, a blush as well, too. I don't care for the blush at all. I don't like that. However, look at the palette, you guys. Like, honestly, keep it real for Too Faced. Like, really keep it real. Look at the colors of this. Like, isn't it cute? Like, it's kind of cute. Let's keep it real. Too Faced is normally so bland, so boring, so, uh, you know? And this palette, to me, I'm like, oh. Oh, this is actually pretty cute and I'm really surprised because if you guys watch my anti hauls and if you guys make my make, make, right watch my makeup talk videos you guys know that I'm not too fond of Too Faced eyeshadow specifically I feel like yes they do make other great products you know like lip pro well, lip products as far as like their lip balms and then like oh my gosh their hangover spray I really like that and I really did love their hangover primer too I feel like they do make some other good products however eyeshadows y'all I'm sorry but I have always not been very nice about Too Faced eyeshadow palettes because I feel like they are just so uh. But this one to me right here, I don't know if it's just this picture, but it looks really cute. And I can really vibe with that, honestly. Like, I feel like I can bust out some looks with that. And I don't know, maybe I'll do a review of it. Who knows? That'll be a shocker for you guys if I literally do a review of Too Faced. You guys will literally be shocked. But what do you guys think about this? I think it's cute. And the last thing on the list right here is not makeup. It is skincare. However, like I said before, I just feel like skincare and makeup go hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you need like the good base, you know, to put your makeup on. This right here is the Plum Plup Hyaluronic Cream from Glow Recipe. You guys know that I love Glow Recipe. However, over the past like six months, I kind of have stopped using them. Once upon a time, I did use their like avocado something or another that was supposed to help with my redness it did not do anything for my redness so i stopped using that um i was using the banana souffle moisturizer for literally i want to say almost like two years i really did love that however i did notice that it stopped working for my skin but maybe because i used it way too much um and then recently i had purchased the plum plump hyaluronic acid as well too and i feel like that one it was nice like it made my skin kind of plump however it wasn't like the most like life-changing products you know what i'm saying y'all know if you guys are ever on my live videos every single time I talk about Polish Choice. I feel like with Polish Choice and Tatcha, I notice like instant results with my skincare. I feel like with Glow Recipe, like maybe I'm just not using it long enough, but say for example, the redness reducing one, I forget the name of it. I'll put a picture of it right up here. But that one was supposed to be like helpful for red skin, it did nothing. It literally did nothing for me at all. To be honest with you, I kind of feel like it made me look a little bit more red. I just didn't like that. However, the plump plump one, I was like, oh... This is kind of cute. Like, it, you know, it made my skin feel like supple and like bouncy. Do you know what I mean? So I'm curious about this. So this is supposed to be coming out soon. So this, um, there's not too many details because it's actually not out yet. I just saw this on Trend Mood. So it says, new addition to the Plum Plump family, the Hyaluronic Cream by Glow Recipe, Dewy Moisture Plump, Hydrate and Balance. So what do you guys think about this? Like, is this a product that I should try out? Honestly, y'all, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I haven't used the Plum Plump Serum in like two months. I don't know why I just stopped using it. I just feel like, 
I don't know. Like, it made my skin feel good, but I don't know. Like I said, it's not like, I was like, oh my gosh, wowed by it. Like, honestly, I am always raving about the Polish Choice Retinol Plus Vitamin C. Oh my gosh. On my forehead, I would usually get breakouts, and there's, like, hyperpigmentation that would last on there for months. I'm not kidding you. Now, when I get any type of pimple on my forehead, and it starts turning a little bit dark from that, like, hyperpigmentation, I believe, or whatever it's called, like, scarring. I don't know what it's called, but it, like, turns, like, purple. Literally, it'll stay purple for, like, three months, but when I use that retinol plus vitamin C, I am not kidding you. It is gone within two weeks. Like, it is just so magical that product i literally see results from and like i said i feel like glow recipe is like really really nice however i just don't see those like results you know what i mean i don't know you guys let me know what you guys think about that maybe i will end up picking it up because like i did like the plum plump serum i just don't think it's like wow factor you know what i'm saying anyways make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace out girl scout